to further improve future vehicle efficiency, we have to move towards increased electrification of the powertrain, and certainly batteries are the key enabler to doing that. Uh, nickel hydride technology, as, as you know, for our uh, standard full hybrid applications, we've worked with uh, Sanyo on that technology. Now we're working on the development of lithium ion technology as a replacement, as a future technology for our vehicles. We're also working with uh, partners in our research alliances that uh, we have uh, key research alliances at MIT and at the University of Michigan here in, in Ann Arbor, and we're working to, to further advance, especially the lithium ion technology, solving some of the fundamental problems, really working on the, the key degradation mechanisms that we see in these batteries, and uh, also trying to develop models so that we can uh, further enhance these batteries in the future. Another key component of our, our battery work is in collaboration with, with Chrysler and with General Motors through the United States Advanced Battery Consortium where we're developing battery technology in that forum collaboratively and, and as leveraging as much as possible uh, support from the Department of Energy. Our escape hybrid, we're using nickel monohydride batteries and on this table, if you don't mind, I'll just go over here for a second. This is the battery that's in our escape today, so just for your reference when you get a chance to look around. So this, is, if you open the, uh, the lift gate on the escape hybrid, you'll notice this battery. This just gives you an idea of the profile. This battery very much is, is in the profile of the vehicle. This is a nickel metal hydride battery. And this is an idea of the, of the scale of these batteries and the size of nickel metal hydride batteries and the way they're configured today. These are obviously comprehensive battery systems, including safety disconnects, thermal management, cooling, uh, electronic controls, uh, high voltage connections, and this is a series of actually 250 nickel metal hydride cells. So it's obviously a pretty large system um, and reasonably complex, also a large number of cells um, to maintain over the life of the vehicle. What does it typically weigh? This battery it weighs just under 200 pounds as sitting on the table. The a lithium ion technology. This is a, a lithium ion cell that we've developed for full hybrids, uh, such as the Escape and our future hybrids. And uh, this technology will replace fairly directly the nickel metal hydride technology that we have in the uh, in the Escape today. This just gives you an idea of how we configure these cells into uh, what we call an axial module stick that, that could be. Uh, put into a vehicle configuration or a battery configuration. And I, I can't provide a lot more details on, on the specific design, but just suffice it to say that we take then two of these modules to, to create a, a building block or a kind of a brick configuration uh, from this design. So for our future vehicle technologies, we'll take these building blocks, we'll actually add, containing four cells each, we'll add 21 of these to create then this sort of a structure, this sort of a lithium ion cell assembly, and this will be this will comprise the heart of the battery system in the, the case of a lithium ion battery. As we move to the future, our intention is to dramatically reduce the, the size, actually having the size of the battery, and we'll do this through increasing the power capability of the cell technology so that we can move to exactly half the size. And as you can imagine, this is really not much beyond the size of a briefcase, so it's reasonable to package this kind of technology in a vehicle. Next, I want to talk about our uh, plug-in cell technology. So, by comparison, this is the this is a plug-in hybrid lithium-ion cell that's in our plug-in Escape and in our high series Edge high series today. Here's a comparison to our cell technology for full hybrids. And this is about six times the size of the cell technology for a full hybrid, five times the mass, and provides about seven to eight times the, uh, the energy content for, uh, for um, plug-in hybrid application. Um, that, that then, as Sharif mentioned, we have about 10 kilowatt hours on board. Our objective is to reach about 10 to 12 kilowatt hours to ensure 25 to 30 miles of electric driving. And just for your reference, 10 to 12 kilowatt hours is about what a typical U.S. household uses in a day. I can imagine if this is our building block, we've got something six times this size, the size of this block, that we now need to find space for in a vehicle. And that gets to be really a key challenge for us in, in the case of a plug-in hybrid. Uh, packing, packaging six times the size of this, this volume in a vehicle and keeping it safely out of crush zones in the case of crash is, is really one of our key challenges. It's about 50%, at least 50% more power in a plug-in 
uh, design. So in our skate uh, plug-in hybrid, we need about 50%, at least 50% more power out of the battery. Uh, we obviously need about eight times the energy content. And so while in the case of a full hybrid battery, we envision that by reducing the size, reducing the, increasing the power capability of the cell, we're going to be able to reduce cost fairly dramatically. It's not as obvious a solution in the case of a plug-in hybrid. We still need all the energy content and we need still further, still more power capability. So that brings up our, uh, another concern, which is, which is cost.